What's going on everybody? Matt with Patriot Comics here. Welcome to today's video and as you see in the title, I went diving in the dollar bins at my local comic shop. My LCS has about 10 or 15 long boxes that they fill with all different books, Marvel, DC, Indie, and sometimes I find uh, minor keys and even some better books once in a blue moon, but they have them for $1 a piece and if I buy a whole bunch, usually the owner of the LCS gives me an even better deal. So I was diving in the dollar bins today at the LCS, and I found a couple cool books. Unfortunately, these uh, dollar bins were picked through pretty well. I spoke to the owner of my LCS, and he said that they're actually not stocking much right now because on Free Comic Book Day, uh, Saturday, May 6th, they are having a big blowout sale where it's like 50 cent uh, books in the dollar bins. They're doing half off of their back issues. Uh, they're doing discounts on their wall books. So I'm really excited for free comic book day. Make sure you go and check out your local comic shop on Saturday, May 6th. You get free comics and usually they have great deals going on. So I went through the dollar bins at my LCS. I found a couple cool books. Uh, like I said, it was picked through pretty heavily. I didn't find a lot of great stuff, but then I went diving in their back issues and I actually found a couple really cool books that I wanted for my personal collection. And I found one key comic that was really surprising uh, in terms of value. Uh, they had it priced, I think, at a really great price, as you'll see. And I didn't even know that the worth of that particular book. And later on, when I got home, I did a little bit more research. I looked on Key Collector and eBay. And that book sells for so much more than I paid. So that was a very nice surprise. We'll get to that last. But let's take a look at all of the bins I got in, or all of the comics I got in the dollar bin. All right, let's go. Uh, there are some incredible Hulk, Hulk books here. I just kind of grabbed them because they were in nice condition and they just had great covers. Uh, so we, here we have Incredible Hulk, 350 in a newsstand with Thing and Hulk and Doctor Doom, of course. Really great cover. Just I just thought that looked great and it was really nice condition. Another awesome cover on Hulk, 354. I love the purple background with Mr. Fix-It, the Gray Hulk, just looking fierce. Another awesome up close and personal picture of uh, Joe Fix-It with the skeleton grabbing his face. Just another great Hulk cover. Uh, this one is just kind of funny. I grabbed it because, uh, I don't know why, it was in very nice condition. It's a cool Neil Adams random book, Skate Man, issue number one. It's like a skateboarding or a roller skating uh, superhero. So kind of funny. I don't know. For some reason, I just saw it and I had to grab it. It's got a cool purple cover. Uh, I like the perspective of Skate Man pushing his uh, roller skate into this guy, kind of flying off the page. And it's some Neil Adams goodness. Kind of uh, interesting, kind of funny, kind of random. But for a dollar, why not? Another cool book I found in the dollar bin here was Dark Horse Presents issue number 36. Awesome Alien versus Predator cover here. I uh, collect this run and I didn't have this one in my collection. It's got some spine ticks, but overall it looks pretty good. And it's just got a great cover. Love, love the art on there and uh, can't go wrong for a dollar, right? And then another book that I always grab just because as you know, I am a huge a Universal Monsters fan. I love, you know, Frankenstein, Wolfman, Mummy, Dracula. And this is just a great Detective Comics uh, cover. And this is issue 671, Detective Comics, uh, Night Quest, the, uh, the Crusade series. Just a great Halloween type Universal Monster cover. You got Wolfman, you got Mummy, you got Frankie. Pretty awesome. It's in decent grade and for a dollar, why not? Another dollar book here was a really nice high-grade copy of Catwoman 39. Just a really nice variant cover. And um, is this a variant? Yeah, this is the... Uh, oh, Jenny Frizen. Yeah, I should have known that. So really great cover in the dollar bin. They actually had a stack of these. So I'm like, you know what? I never got this one when it came out. Might as well add that to the Catwoman variant co uh, cover collection. And then they also had D uh, The Boys Dear Becky number three from Dynamite Comics. Cool sketch cover. 
Uh, I mean, when I find the boys' books in the dollar bin, I always grab them. Love the TV show. I love the comic book series. Just, uh, just a great series overall. So had to grab the boys. Number three from the Dear Becky run. Uh, cool cover and for only a dollar. All right, so those are all the dollar bins. Now let's get to some of the back issues I bought. As you know, in the last video I posted, in almost every video I post, I am a huge fan of uh, Marvel Bronze Age horror books. Uh, I love pre-code horror, of course, but that does get uh, to be a bit pricey when you're trying to collect a lot of it. Uh, so next best thing is Bronze Age horror books. I'm more uh, a fan of the Marvel series. I, I do like some of the DC stuff as well, but some of the Marvel, uh, just the cover art, just really draws me in, and I just love this stuff. This is a Vault of Evil, number nine, little 20-cent book, nice condition. The spine looks really good, and they had it priced at $7, which I just, you know, I enjoy supporting my local comic shop. You know, normally I pay around four or five bucks or less for books like this. Like I try to, uh, you know, I try to find the deals, but uh, for seven bucks, it's in nice, you know, it's definitely in a higher grade and it's got a really great cover, the giant killer, really cool. So not too bad for seven bucks. And then this one here I thought was really cool. Uh, this is Tower of Shadows number one, the king size special. I have almost all of the issues in this run. I didn't have number one. It was priced at $10. It's got a great cover. And I just love these uh, Tower of Shadows books. And this is a, uh, a king size special, a little bit thicker, extra pages, more story. Really cool, and it's in really nice grade. So for 10 bucks, I had to grab it. I needed it for my collection. All right, this last book here was the surprise. So I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, basically, I was just flipping through the uh, back issues, and I saw this book, and I, you know, I recognized it. I knew it was a first appearance of a certain character, and I saw the price, and I'm like, I didn't know if, I'm like, you know, is this a reprint, or, you know, because I've, I had a, uh, something in the back of my head was saying that this was, you know, a little bit more of an expensive book, especially lately, because I believe there's a TV show coming out, so let's take a look real quick. This is Doorway to Nightmare, issue number one. And they had it priced at $8. And it is a pretty nice looking book. I don't see any spine ticks. Corners are sharp. This is a really clean, really nice, high grade book. Doorway to Nightmare, issue number one. And it is the first appearance of Madam's, Madam Xanadu. So really cool. I believe there's a TV show coming out. And uh, I was looking on, on Key Collector um, and I noticed that Key Collector says this book, as you see here on the screen, uh, in high grade is a hundred dollar book. So if there's something I'm not seeing here, maybe uh, somebody out there knows a little bit more uh, about this run, uh, you know, I, I just know that th this book in particular, because I actually found issue number two, um, and then I did a little research and I saw that issue number one was her first appearance, and, you know, I don't know if this is a reprint or something like that. I guess I could open it up and check inside uh, to see if this was a second printing or something like that, but I believe this is the one. This is the... Uh, you know, this is issue number one, Doorway to Nightmare, first appearance of Mad Madam Xanadu. And it's in a newsstand, which, you know, for uh, for this year doesn't really mean anything, but still cool. You know, some people like the newsstands a little bit more, and especially to find them in high grade. So really, really cool find for $8. Uh, if I'm not seeing something here and this isn't the book that's worth around... 50 to 100 bucks let me know down in the comments but i think that's a pretty awesome score if this is the right book uh i believe so so really exciting to find this uh, doorway to nightmare issue number one for eight dollars in the back issues really cool it's in very high grade might even be a nice uh a candidate to send in for grading especially with the move uh the tv show 
And, you know, I just love the horror stuff. Really happy to pick up some more Bronze Age horror. And even uh, even these cool uh, books that I found in the dollar bin. Some Hulk, some Catwoman, some Batman, some uh, The Boys. You know, really, really happy to uh, dive through the dollar bins and find some good stuff. And then dive through the back issues and find even cooler stuff. So... Not too bad at all. That's my little haul for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. Don't forget to comment down below. I always enjoy reading your feedback. And as always, folks, I'll see you on the next one.